I want to take a moment today to tell you in word and in song about one of history's great unsung heroes and about one of America's greatest villains. We'll set the stage with the villain. Anthony Comstock was the U.S. Postal Inspector in the late 1800s and the founder of a cheerful little group called the New York Society for the Suppression of Vice, which loftily aimed to keep an immoral American public on the straight and narrow by opposing things like contraception and information about abortion or sexually transmitted illnesses. He also opposed women's suffrage and was a prolific book burner, claiming that books were, quote, feeders for brothels. As the U.S. Postal Inspector, he could regulate what was distributed through the mail and got the U.S. Congress to pass the Comstock Act, which limited the sending of whatever he deemed as obscene materials through the mail. But more on that later. Now for the hero, Ida Craddock, a campaigner for free speech and women's health who defied Comstock at every turn. She mailed pamphlets on women's health, sex education, and human sexuality, even though Comstock deemed these to be obscene materials. She provided marital counseling. She defended the belly dancer Little Egypt at the Chicago World's Fair against obscenity charges with editorials in the Chicago paper. She was arrested multiple times, served time in a Brooklyn workhouse, was committed to the Pennsylvania Hospital for the Insane, and ultimately took her own life as a result of Comstock's persecution. Now, you're going to hear Comstock's name a lot in the coming weeks as activists and lawmakers once again raise his specter to try to limit women's access to crucial health care through the mail by deeming abortion drugs to be obscene materials. As the Comstock Act rears its head again, you can be sure the same people will not stop there and will try to limit the movement and distribution of crucial health care knowledge, access to contraception, and anything else that they deem obscene and dangerous in the coming years. Even a hundred years after his death, Comstock proved to be one of America's greatest free speech villains and a threat to health care and the rights of everyone in this country. This song is called Ida, and it's for that unsung crusader for free speech. It'll be on my upcoming album, Lighthouse Keeper, which will be released this summer and that you can learn more about by following this account or by going to the link in my bio. Thank you for watching. Wheel a rooster to Asclepius When the time comes, don't forget, please pay When they come to lay the corns across my eyes There'll be no one left to watch what I say There'll be no one left to watch what I say from my lonely bedroom spire I can see the smoke from fires From pages of my book of days Stretching out past Rikers Island Fingers reaching for the skies And blanketing the sun in haze Do what you will, you libertine All the law of man will find its way no safety net and no lawyers to protect you When they finally come to put you away When they finally come to put you away So you summon elementals in your bedroom, in your temple A new fires for the space between the sheets Beasts you bore in wild abandon Secret words of love and passion A new Bible for two hearts unleashed And those sad words of tongue and pen Erased and changed, then changed again The pages frayed, the marriage spent and Babylon will rise again Babylon will rise again Little Egypt in a see-through shirt Blowing kisses to the men at the back Little Brooklyn on the workhouse floor Stripped naked showing welts all down her back 
from the jury box they listen to the same words they imprison in a jail made of paper leaves and glue Break down the bonds of wedlock Giving her the choice of him lock Or change she could not break through Do what you will, you libertine All the law of man will find its way In stripes and bars or in quick lime laid Out of silence finds you either way yeah, the silence finds you either way In the air the angels hover Whisper names of spirit lovers They wait just on the other side Bonds of pleasure not creation Words of love and liberation For the phantom and his silent bride And those sad words of tongue and pen Erased and changed, then changed again The pages frayed, the marriage spent Babylon will rise again Babylon will rise again We owe a rooster to Asclepius when the time comes, don't forget, please pay The blood draining down from his beak To the altar where the record of my last words lay Where the record of my last words lay In the body sung electric A new truthful dialectic There's no bars across the golden door no stitches running down the hymn lines Where our lips and songs are untied I can't tell if they are mine or they are yours And those sad words of tongue and pen Erased and changed and changed again The pages frayed, the marriage spent Let's never say what might have been Let's never say what might have been Let's never say